Hello Grade 11s! In today's lesson, we will have a look at how to rationalize the denominator of a fraction. We know we need to rationalize the denominator when there is a third in the denominator. There are three methods we can use to do this. Let's have a look. Here we have 7 over the square root of 3. So there is one term at the bottom with the square root. To rationalize the denominator, we have to multiply the fraction with the square root of 3 over the square root of 3. By doing this, we rationalize the denominator and we get an answer of 7 root 3 over 3. In case number 2, there is one term in the denominator. However, the index is greater than 2. Let's have a look at an example. 8 over the cube root of 2. To rationalize the denominator, we need to multiply the term by the cube root of 2 over the cube root of 2, twice. This gives a final answer of 4 times the cube root of 4. In the third case for rationalizing the denominator, there are two terms in the denominator. One of them is a third. Look at the example 5 over 4 minus the square root of 3. To rationalize the denominator, we have to multiply by something called the conjugate. A conjugate is an expression which is almost the same as the original binomial, except the sign between the two terms is changed. The conjugate of 4 minus the square root of 3 is 4 plus the square root of 3. It is easy to multiply these two expressions together because they are the result of a difference of two squares. This means that 4 minus the square root of 3 times 4 plus the square root of 3 is equal to 16 minus 3, which is 13. Let's apply this to our problem. We don't want to change the value of the fraction, so we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 4 plus the square root of 3. This will give us 5 times by 4 plus the cube root of 3 over 4 minus the cube root of 3 in the first bracket times by 4 plus square root of 3 in the second bracket. On top, 5 times by 4 is equal to 20 and 5 times by the square root of 3 is equal to 5 squared root 3. The denominator is 16 minus 3. We cannot simplify the numerator without a calculator, but the bottom becomes 13. This means that our final answer is 20 minus 5 times the square root of 3 divided by 13. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Exponents and Thirds task video. You'll also be able to learn more about Exponents and Thirds on our website, www dot mindset dot co dot today forward slash learn. Goodbye.